Today we're going to be covering some of the Splunk certification paths that you could pursue and the prereqs needed for those certifications. So we'll dive right into it. Here on sheet one, you can see it kind of ranges from basic certifications of certified user all the way up to Splunk's premium apps like ES, ITSI, and Phantom. And as you can see, the prereqs are kind of highlighted uh, in X's and the red boxes here. And you can see they kind of stack on top of each other. So for example, if you wanted to be a core certified consultant, you would need to get your architect cert first. If you wanted to be an architect, well, you have to be an admin. And if you want to be an admin, you'd have to get the power user certification. Uh, the next sheet just kind of goes over all of the current Splunk education courses that they offer, going from most basic of Funds 1, which is free, um, again, up to their premium apps, some cloud stuff, um, their architect classes that they offer. Just thought it was a good thing to list out the current classes that you could look at and see which ones you'd be interested in taking. Uh, funds 1 and 2, those are probably good to take if you're trying to become power user. There's definitely enough knowledge in both of these classes to obtain that certification off these two classes alone. If you're trying to become um, certified admin, I would take data admin and sys admin. And then other courses on here are kind of good for knowledge gained in Splunk, like funds 3, advanced dashboarding and visualizations, um, advanced search and reporting. Those courses are offered by Splunk, but they're not required for you to complete them in order to test for certifications. They're just there for knowledge gain. They're there as recommended classes for you to take to prepare for certifications. So just thought it'd be a good idea to list out the classes that they currently offer. And here are the exams that they currently offer. Um, you'd be certified user, the most basic, again, up to their premium apps like Phantom, ITSI. Um, you can become, become architect. And something I'd like to point out is, um, if we go back to this sheet here, if you want to become an architect, um, it kind of alludes to the fact that you just have to fulfill requirements for admin, and then you're good to go take the test. But that's not actually the case. And I can uh, kind of best show you why that is by, one, going over to my Pearson view. And here you'll see all the pre-approved exams that Splunk says I can I can go test for, that I'm eligible to test for at this time. And they just link your Pearson view to your Splunk um, education and certification pass that you've completed. So I've done power user and I'm a certified admin and I've also completed the coursework needed for their ES premium app. So at this time, I'm eligible to go take any of these exams listed here. But if we want to become architect, um, certified, you'll see that I'm not eligible to have that as a pre-approved exam. So you have to kind of do your research and you can do this by going over to uh, Splunk's website and clicking on certification tracks to kind of figure out why you're not eligible for that certain exam or why it's not populating on your Pearson View dashboard. So we'll use Architect as an example and if you just give it a click at the top it's going to describe what courses they recommend you to take and what courses are required. So the prereqs, um, data, data admin and sysadmin are highly recommended, but not required. Uh, if you want to take the exam, um, to access the exam, you know, have it populate, then you have to be an admin and you have to complete the following courses here that they list out. So um, this may be a bit misleading, but do your due diligence and go to Splunk's website and definitely check to make sure um, whatever certification you're interested in pursuing you're eligible to and it'll tell you all that at the top. So let's say we want to go after the power user certification. Click on it, go to the top. Prereqs, they are highly recommended but not required. So they highly recommend that you do funds one and funds two and then go take the test. But could you go in there and take power user without completing and paying for these well, I guess just paying for funds too because funds one is free. You can. Uh, again, we'll show that with admin. Prereqs, highly recommended, but not required. Um, and then it just puts a side note there if you're seeking architect or developer, um, you would have to become a certified admin, which kind of makes this chart make a little bit more sense. So, uh, another thing, Splunk has a lot of great resources on their website. Um, in these courses here, you can click on them and they kind of overlap to 
uh, sheet two here with listing out all the courses that they currently offer. So if you wanted more information, you can go to Splunk's website and kind of click on, oh, I'm interested in taking Fundamentals 3 and get a description of what the course is going to offer you. And then if you go into the view schedule, you can get prices and stuff like that and view the hours and time zones and dates of the classes, or you can get the instructor on demand, self-paced um, kind of coursework for you. That's their uh, instructor on demand, 30 day access, and uh, you go through the course at your own pace. Gives you overview of course topics that you're gonna cover. Prereqs, um, should complete funds one and funds two uh, before you can take this one. And then it'll go over every single mod kind of outlined in the course. Always good to check out their free courses. Uh, if you're new or um, trying to dive into Splunk for the first time, definitely go take Fundamentals 1 and download an instance of Splunk on your local computer and get started. So I kind of hope this video um, helped you out, kind of figure out what certification track you'd like to follow, and then it helps you figure out what course is required uh, or recommended based off of the top description.